Hello everybody, it's Toron here from Wooper Gaming, and welcome to my first of many parts, I hope, of a series on how to program plugins for Minecraft, specifically Bucket. Now, this series will be for the very beginners, for people who know a tiny bit of Java, because if you're going to start programming for Minecraft, you need to go watch some other tutorials first. You can't just jump in and expect to be taught everything about Minecraft Java wise first. Uh, people I suggest is the new Boston. He has, a, I think it's like an 89 part Java tutorial. That's where I learn. That's where you should go first. After you watch that, come back over here and you already be, you know, be a bit more ahead on what I'm going to do, how I'm going to teach you things. But in today's episode, I'm just going to show you all the resources you need and show you how to set up a project in Eclipse. So what is Eclipse? Eclipse is a piece of software that allows you to write stuff in Java. Now, more specifically for us, write plugins for Minecraft. But we're not making any mods for Minecraft, the stock Minecraft is all for Bucket, Craft Bucket, whatever you want to you know, whatever you want to call it. So you also need Bucket of course. And I'm presuming you have Java installed. If you don't, it's not gonna work. So let me show you to the sites. Just type in Eclipse into Google and it's or just type in the URL www.eclipse.org come to the download, play, download page and the one you want is the JDK which stands for Java Development Kit and my internet's extremely slow so that's why it's not loading so I think I just downloaded this one yeah Eclipse IDE for Java developers download that one uh, 32 if you're on a 32-bit machine like I am or 64 if you're on a 64-bit it doesn't matter so download that I already have come to the bucket page and you want to let's go back to the dashboard quickly. Uh, I'll link you to this ci.bucket.org. We want to go to Craft Bucket as that is the server form of uh, Bucket. And we want either the recommended build, which no, the recommended build is number 818. Uh, you can go for the latest build, I think it's 839, but it's not recommended, it could cause server crashes. So my recommendation is go for the recommended build. So download that as well. You'll need it for later. And just come to the Oracle website and just download Java, uh, the JDK. That's what I downloaded. Because if you don't download this, it's not going to work. Okay. So once you've downloaded Eclipse, download the bucket, and you obviously must have Java installed. Uh, install Eclipse. Let it extract. Let it install. All of that good stuff. And just load it up, and you'll come to a screen like this. So ignore my other projects there, they're for my other plugins that I've been developing. And the reason why I have those other exclamation marks is because I haven't uh, I deleted one of the external jars by accident, but we'll get on to that. All right. So to create a new project in Eclipse, you go to File, New, Java Project. Now this is very, very, very important. Your project name must be the same as the name of the jar file you're going to export as. So for this yeah, for this tutorial we're just going to call it basic relating back to Sam Kier's video which is now out of date because the people at Bucket have changed their hooks, you know, just they just changed their event hooks too much. So in the tutorial we're going to have a bit of trouble going past all of the event hooks. So we'll we'll cover that when it comes to it. So just call it basic. Just don't add don't click anything else and just press finish. All right, and then you'll notice the little folder has come up on the other side. So click the expand folder button, and now you have a source folder, a JRE systems library for uh, not a folder but an option, and a reference libraries. And in your reference libraries, that's where all your external jars are going to go, which I will teach you how to import in a minute. Now it might be a bit different because if you ever program plugins for HMOD, you didn't need a package. Uh, I don't know why you just didn't need to create a package whilst creating the plugins. In Bucket, you have to create a package which keeps everything installed within it. So to create a package, you go right-click source, go new, and let's go package. Now a package can be called anything you want. Previously, you had to include Bucket in it, but recently it's been changed, so we can just include anything we want. So for example, if you just follow me, let's do me, then your name, so I'll put torrent. And then this next bit is very important. You need to put the name of your project. So let's put. I'm going to put basic because that is the name of my project, and it already exists because I was doing one before this. So I'll be right back whilst I delete the other one. All right, guys. I just 
refresh the clips and delete the source in my workspace because I already had a previous one to this. Once you've got your name as me.torrent or dot your name and then the name of your uh, project, click enter and you'll notice a little package of little four little corners with lines going through them has appeared. Now everything you do will have to be in this package otherwise you screwed up. So let's right click the package, go new and let's go class. Now, Again, this can be called anything you want, but it makes more sense just to call it the name of the project as this is going to be the main class which holds all of the beef of the plugin. Uh, there's going to be two other classes we're developing, but they're going to be centered around the player and the blocks in Minecraft. We won't get too much into that at the moment because that's not needed at the moment. I'm just teaching you how to create a project and how to go about it. So just call it basic, don't do anything else, and just press finish. Right, and as it says, it's got the package up here, package me .torrent basic semicolon, and then it's got the public class. This is the class, this is the main body. Anything you type within your plugin in Java has to go in here, in between these two parentheses. You put it underneath here, it's not going to get read, so make sure you keep it in between these two parentheses. But again, we'll move on to that into another episode. What else I'm going to teach you is for say you're going to make a plugin that alerts people when they place TNT how do I make Eclipse know that I'm referencing to the block TNT well what you need to do is as I told you you downloaded bucket earlier you might already have it as a server uh, plugin or a server plugin and in your server directory that's great so keep that what you want to do is you want to right click basic go to properties go java build path and add external jars and basically what this is what yeah, what this is going to do is it's going to allow Eclipse to know the external jar properties of craft bucket. So that's gonna know all of the block names, all of the entity names, you know, all of these tool names, anything to do with Minecraft or most specifically craft bucket is going to be within this jar file which is also going to be into our project. Even though you don't export this external jar, it's very, very, very crucial that you let Eclipse know and let, you know, import it to let Eclipse know what you're talking about. So now that we've imported it, make sure you do not delete your bucket directory, otherwise that will cause things to go horribly wrong like they have in my other projects down here. <clears throat> and the last thing I'm going to be teaching you is the YML within bucket. Now for a plugin to work, you're going to need to include a YML file. Now a YML file contains information about the plugin, version number, etc. If you don't include this, Bucket won't read it. It'll read the jar file, but it won't have a reference. So that means it will just skip right past it, spam loads of errors in the console. It looks messy. So we want to right click down here in the little white space and click new. And let's click file. And we're going to call it plugin.yml. Make sure you call it plugin.yml. Okay, and that brings up a WordPad document. Now, what do I type into this WordPad document? I hear you say. Well, I'm going to show you with the other plugins I've got here. So let's go to my farming plugin, for instance. <clears throat> Open up the plugin YML, and this is for level craft farming. So what you need on the YML is the name of your plugin, which is obviously the name of your project. So in our instance, it will be name basic. The main, which is the package, which again is me dot torrent, and then basic, then the name of the project the version and then a small description and then the commands if you're going to include any which I will show you how to do later because we haven't actually got around to including any commands yet so let's copy all of this and put it into here and let's edit it for our needs so it is LC farming which I'm going to change to basic because that's what the project name is me.torrent can stay we've got to change this to basic now make sure Java is very case sensitive and your YML is just sensitive in general. It hates spaces, tabs, cap. Just be very careful. Follow what I do and you won't go wrong. And again, your project name goes at the end. So here's your package, me.torrent.basic. If I load up here, it says exactly that there. And after your package, you put the name of your project, which is basic. Version number can just be 0 0.1, it doesn't matter. And description doesn't really matter, you can just put whatever you want. I'll put basic. If I can spell properly, basic 
plugin for YouTube. So that's it. And then if we go save and it will say it's close farm now. Whenever we export uh, the basic project, it will have the plugin YML already in the folder before. Now what people used to do is they uh, used to attach a plugin YML which people had to put in you know, individually which just caused a load of hassle. So people would just end up doing this. Now I'll show you one last thing which actually isn't relevant to us at the moment but just so you know is how to export a jar file. So we click file and we'll click export and we want to choose the jar file that's the thing, that's what we're exporting as and we want to click basic as that is our selected file our project click this box here and it will select the class path the project and the plugin YML which I was talking about so if you include this plugin YML underneath the project basic you don't have to individually put it in by you know updating it in a different text editor so this is extremely extremely useful when you need just click you know, one button and they're all selected and again as I was going on you need to make sure this is the same as your project name so it's the basic dot jar and obviously you just click finish once you know, you've exported it don't finish it yet because we haven't actually done anything and one last thing never 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 export with errors in your Java project I'll show you what an error looks like we'll put error this is an undefined thing in Java never export when you have red lines underneath any of your code because once you export Eclipse will remove the red lines and that sounds great you know ooh, no errors but it will remove the red lines but the error still stays there and if you have a long long list of code you won't be able to identify where the error is unless you pay attention to the console and it'll tell you what line but next episode I'll show you how to get the numbers up and the line numbers so that's what an error looks like make sure you never export with an error so that's pretty much it for the beginners guide into creating a plugin for Minecraft or Bucket if you'd like to see more tune in for next episode I hope this has helped. Yeah, I hope this has helped. Sorry, I can't speak. I've been speaking for too long. Um, if it has helped you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to us, Weeper Gaming, and I will be going into the depth of the code on this basic project next episode.